Okay, so we're here outside the Rosemary and Thyme. Priscilla is upset about something. We kind of witnessed a, an argument between her and Dandelion the last time. Um, so maybe we should go on in and see it, what it is they that Dandelion's up to. For the black Looking for hey, Dandelion. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. Cabaret. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Man, I'm picking up about 10,000 copies of The Fall of Vizima during this conversation. It must just get, like, constantly repopulated right after I pick it up. Well, anyway, more books for us, I guess. Okay, so, you need to reestablish your cabaret. And you need some resources in order to do so. Uh, well, I have a lot of money. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend is to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Oh, Dandelion. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. <laughs> Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Okay. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you. I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Okay, this sounds kind of sus, Dandelion. But, uh, sure. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Okay, Dandelion, I will. And let's get out of here before these books... Really, really start to pile up and weigh us down. Yes, indeed. Uh, Vizima did fall. You might not have heard about that. Okay, Madame Arena. This is the woman who runs the, the like theater company that we played with before. Okay, he's somewhere over this away. Let's play Burn the Witch. Yay! She could be the witch. That's mean. I wanna be a witch. 
burning which is horrible stinky. I know. Being at a burning. My tappy took me. I don't know about that game, kids. Uh, gotta cross the river. There we go. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in Novigrad. Now I have to remember where the entrance is. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> Run! Oh. I find it. Orson's henchman. Oh. It's up there, but I think we have to go around this way. Ooh. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? I think there is an entrance up here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Excuse me. Right? Somewhere around here? How about this? Aha! Look at that! How that worked out. Okay, Madame Arena. Back Don't know who you're looking for, but you won't find him out. Looking for Madame Arena. There she is, see? Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. That doesn't bode well for his current uh, facade. All right. In other news, got a request. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. Mine. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh yes, I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. <clears throat> Excuse me. So After dark. Well, it's three o'clock now. Family. Won't have to wait too long. Oh, girls. Are they playing anything right now? Mm, nope. Aw, good times. Okay, let's go out the front door. Oh. Move it. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Sophronia. I think she lives in the rich people district. Which means we gotta go up. Alright, folks. Chill out. Ah, oh. I'm just having a good time right now, admiring uh, the improved textures <laughs> from the new graphics card. Hopefully, they come through on the stream. I don't know, but it looks pretty it's sweet from my perspective. Uh, yes, all the screaming. That was a bit. It's a bit melodramatic. Sophronia's house. Do I need to equip this wooden sword? Uh, quest items? Can I use this? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it's all rusty. Well, I guess that's for the best. Because he was hungry. He wouldn't be hungry when to find paid work. But he said the temple god interrogated him. Put out his eyes. Yeah, that's what he said. Ow. Move it. Not her. Not as much as getting your eyes put out. Ooh. Excuse me. Pardon me. Captured and displayed in the side. Okay, of after sun. dark. So let's well, do uh, let's have a little meditate. It could be quite profitable. And? 
That sounds like after dark. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. <sighs> Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andrew Mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. I don't know if he saw my previous performance. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse. Now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Wow. Dandelion. Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. Oh. Uh. Hey. Not too late to surrender. Uh. Wait. Come on, dandelion. Dandelion. I mean. Oh. Oh, the poison got him. I've been hit. Ow! To the house, quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire. What do you want from us? Leave us be. This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Guess not. Well, that went about as well as our previous acting attempt did. But frankly, I think the lines that Geralt makes up are better. <laughs> um, okay, meet Dandelion in the morning at the Rosemary in time. I'm gonna have a fish. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, it seems like he kind of achieved his goal. Well, one of his goals anyway. The real goal of getting Sophronia to notice him. Uh, maybe let's meditate first. So we don't have to walk through the city at night. How could you forget about this quest? Ah. <laughs> uh, the storm, damn it. It's a very dandelion quest. I like rain. Keeps the roads indoors. Me too. No, I don't really like rain though. Take it back. Oh! Out of the way. Move it, boy. And other boy. And townsman. Uh, down it to <laughs> hell! Uh. Why are we all running and screaming? Shady individual. Right. Strumpet. Shady individual. Hey. Seems they can't decide on a color. Uh -oh. Don't know what the fucking trouble is. The color's either pretty or ugly. Ain't no philosophy to it. That's true. All right, Dandelion. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. Oh, so we've come to Zima today. again. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. 
We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Yeah, why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gabriel, you've known him longer. Say something. Okay, cabaret or boudoir? Boudoir, boudoir is the better fit for a cabaret, but I don't know if Priscilla would actually like that or not. It's more dandelion than Priscilla, I think. But I think maybe we should just let... We should just let her decide. Not about me. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. Okay, I was a wrong. wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action, and so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Uh, I don't know about that. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novograd in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Give you a discount. Okay, I gotta turn this. Seeds, I gotta turn this auto loot off. Well, see yeah. if I can find the right button. Nope. Well, hang on. Uh. I know I put it in. I'm leaving this slot empty so that I can use the auto loot button. I just can't remember which button it is. Mm. Uh. Why? Ha! It's why. There we go. Ooh, that should be the end of the fall of Vizima. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Dandelion didn't show up. It's six o'clock in the morning. These dwarfs are here. We had to make a decision. Priscilla decided to go with boudoir style. Sure. Uh, okay. Something unusual? No. Here on business, lady. Boy, it's pretty dark. I guess because it's raining outside. Zoltan. Zoltan. Carol. Uh, we've had this conversation nice before. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. What is this lady wearing behind me? A neck Hi thing. Oh. An interesting choice of outfit. Excuse you. Please. All right. Let's go find Dandelion. Oh, the rain, though. Can I? Okay, this this never works, but see if we can't change the weather. 
that's yeah, that did not work at all. <sighs> Excuse me. I know. <laughs> Nobody likes the rain, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more shot. Nope. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Excuse me, shady individual. I'm trying to eavesdrop here. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. <laughs> Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, You'd visit her? Hubio. Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Okay. Fine. Let's find the key. This is gonna take all of my detective senses. Now where would she Is it here? Uh, is it under this rock by the door? Not here. No. Oh. That's too obvious. Is it in this pot? Not here. Oh. Is it in this bucket? Excuse me. Aha! Uh, the key. We did it. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, Rude. and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, Toke. Huh. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Well, we tried. Ask nicely, but you just wouldn't listen, and I'm not the kind to give second chances. Stay out of this, freak. Before this ends with you getting your head smashed in. Gentlemen, please. There it is. One word too many. Urgh. Ubio? 
Hubio. Did it. This is okay. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, I can't see. Yeah. Oh, oh. Eh, that was mean. Okay. That's it. Hubio. Come on. Come on, Ubio. Woo! Take that. All right. Sorry, dear. Geralt can get carried away at times, and... You know, maybe it's for the best. I felt <sighs> no pity, no remorse as I watched you brawl. Can't help but think it means I've no actual feelings for you. Dump Ubio. him! You're not mad? No. Grateful. I believe I needed a shock not unlike that one to understand that what I had with Hubio, well, it wasn't working. I'm ready to try something new. I'd gladly start by choreographing your review. Well, you're welcome for beating Excellent. up your fiance. Then I'll see you at the Rosemary in time. Uh, Subreels, yes, I am playing the Game of the Year edition with both of the expansions, which I intend to play. Um, but it's gonna take a little while to get there because I would say I'm probably like one third of the way through the the main storyline. Um, so yeah, we'll get there, but it'll probably be a while. All right. Well, it appears that we've done her a favor by showing her that Hubio is not uh, not the best. <laughs> Guess not all women go for arrogant pricks after all. One swallow does not a summer make. <laughs> so, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Yeah. Who's Rotlek? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlek, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Okay. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Yeah, that's really? right. You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. All right, Dandelion. Yeah, he better go back. Priscilla will be upset if I keep him out longer. Whoa! There's, like, multiple copies of this lady up here on this balcony. Whoa. Is there just two, or are there more? I think there might be... No. Oh, no, there's three. Oh, no, that's a different lady. Well, that's fun, I guess. Okay, what are we doing now? All right, we're finding Rotlek and getting the placards. The new placards tell everybody that this is a cabaret and no longer a brothel. Mutant. Which is an important distinction, even though apparently we're going with the boudoir style. Whoa. Sound like a good deal. Rotlick? Oh. Excuse me. Is this the right house? It looks like it. Oh, I see paints. This must be it. I have a fish. Just in case I lost some health during that fight. Ah, there you go, girl. Uh oh. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't uh -oh. alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses picked clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Uh, listen. 
His death's not my business. I'm just here for the placards, all right? Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. Wrong answer. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Okay, is this a fist fight or a... Yeah, all right. Come on, bandit. Ooh. Oh, jeez. That was too fast for me. Oh, oh, God. Huh. All right. One at a time. Come on. Oh, it's raining upstairs. Come on. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Get him, Carol. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, fine. Get him. Uh, oh, we missed. Just come upstairs, okay? Come on. Come on. Are you coming? I can't tell. Get him. Oh, oh no, though. Now they're both up here. That's not good. Oh, oh, jeez. Come on. Get him, Geralt. Oh, you missed, Geralt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Wreck him. Oof. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Dodge, Geralt. Dodge. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Downstairs. 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 Okay. All right, come on, bandit. Oh, I can't, I can't eat my fish. Come on, bandit. That's yeah. enough of that. There we go. Okay, one down. All right, now we should be good. Oh, oh get him, get him, get her, get him, girl. Ugh. Hard on the stairs. I think it gets confused. Get him. There we go. Tell me what you want. Damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! Then you said that. And Rotlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter stay, losing his last crowns at the races. See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Yeah. Vagal butter stay calling us. Ah! Oh, sorry. No need for alarm. Okay, we're not ready to do that exclamation mark. We want to find Rotlek. The Vagal Bud Estate is pretty far. Oh, this. Is that what I think it is? Um. You know what? Let's do this while we're here. While I'm thinking about it. Since we're so close by. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong way. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I gotta remember. Okay. Ronvid's friend. Uh oh. It's been a minute. Prepare for battle! You shall not have it easy this time! Brought friends? Huh. They all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too? No! No, no, no they defend justice! For it is only fair you face a threesome! Is that so? Yes! For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir! You never revealed yourself to be a witcher! You didn't ask. All right. Step one of conflict resolution is use magic. You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. So wise. Don't know about you two, but I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah. We're done here. All right. Watch it, Tread. No not that worked out pretty uh, peacefully. Bye, Ronvin. Mm. Just walking away. So, 
I'm sticking by the rules that I set down, which is that I'm gonna try to resolve all conflicts first with magic and then with force, and never with money. Um, but I do think that that, uh, that this last piece of Ronvid's quest resolves a little more satisfyingly if you do fight him, because you find out a little bit more about his backstory. But at, th at least this way, we didn't have to engage him on any harm. 